next one will be Andreas Reichnuck. And he will motivate you to always generate all your serialization code. Um, I'm glad to speak here. First time at Meeting C++. And I will talk about always generate all your serialization code. And yeah, I'm Andreas Reichuk. My Twitter handle is Artmind. And I work for a company called Higgenhack Software. And we do a lot of UI software for various machines. And we have the problem all the time that for the machine to control them, we have a communication protocol. It's a serial interface or a network interface. And basically, communication protocols are your backbone. It's yeah, the data storage, it's the transportation layer, it's your public interface to the world. And basically, you get the distributed systems with protocols. So it's much more important. It is yeah, way beyond your public interfaces. So you should pay attention. So it's really important. And the chivet is it's complex. So how is it complex? Yeah, at first, you need to understand the documentation and even have proper documentation. Most of the time, the only documentation is the code serializing your protocol. And yeah, then if you have understood it, you have to write an implementation. If you're a third party implementer, yeah, you have to debug everything, get it working. How do you find your test data? How do you make sure it works? So, and then you still have issues with hardware problems and how do you analyze it? How are you sure the machine is correct or your interface is correct? You don't know. You need tools for that. And normally you don't write them because it's effort you would have to take. So our current reality is we have crazy documentation. We got documents like 300 pages of PDF and took like two months to implement one protocol for one machine. And the other extreme is we got two pages with just a big table on it. And you couldn't even know what it's meant placed on this table. So, and you have documentation that is in Word, in Excel, totally crap. You need hours to understand it. And how can you reliably implement a protocol if you have difficulties understanding it? So, then we get complex implementations where, yeah, basically, you have trouble with engineers, you have trouble with uh, bit orders. Uh, most of the time, these are not really well documented. And if you have different platforms for your code, yeah, you get trouble. And then if you get through all of that, the protocol will change. There will be a new machine, there will be an update. And if you get another 300 page PDF document, good luck with that. And yeah, also you might change the platform you get wrong data, long tedious debugging. So what's the rescue? And the rescue is simple. Single point of truth, just make a single description and generate everything else. So basically, you have a computer readable description of your protocol, get a tool, and generate your source code for serializing, deserializing everything. You generate tools to debug it, like a Wireshark dissector, and you may also generate documentation that is well laid out and is always up to date because it's generated from one single point of truth. So you get tools available. If you just make a new project, use them, use Protobuf, use Swift, use MessagePack, use whatever you seem fit for your project, but don't go without it. And if you need full control every bit, or have a legacy protocol where you cannot use those tools, then we try to implement a tool called Protler. It's basically your protocol butler, and this should help. There's currently the version 1.0 available for public use, and it's online. You have an online editor, describe your, it's the documentation is there, uh, give us feedback. And, but the key point is, always generate all your serialization code. Never write serialization code by hand. It's tedious, it's error prone. You will get all kinds of security issues. Don't do that. Make simple handling, one description, 
and yeah, generate all source code, generate all documentation, get faster development, no more bugs. Encoding is much easier to test if you have one code generator. And yeah, well tested code, get analyzing tools. You won't write them by hand, I know it, never saw anyone do it. And yeah, get well shaped, expressive documentation, get it all synchronized up. So, no divergent, check your protocol description into your source control, and you're well set. And as I said, use portable Potler to make your protocol handling easy. And we are open to feedback. Currently, we are developing the 2.0 version, so, uh, which has much more support for text and binary protocols and so on. So, give us feedback. And basically, the question is, do you need a protocol that is legacy? So, that's my picture. If you want to remember me, you'll find me around for the rest of the conference. And you can also try it out for free. So, that's my issue. So, generate all your serialization code and never do it again with the 300 PDF document. Thanks. <laughs>